Yeah, good morning. Welcome to the session. How are you? I'm good, ma'am. How are you, ma'am? I'm also doing great. Thank you so much for asking. Today it's Sunday, so anything special? Anything worth mentioning? No, ma'am. Nothing special. Why? Or it's just... special. It's Sunday today. Yes, ma'am. Today I have tried to have a conversation with you. It's my first conversation online. Okay, so you haven't talked to anybody before? No, ma'am, I haven't. Great. Okay, and who sent me the email? Not with the same name. Your name is Anu, right? Yes, ma'am. I, I... I sent you. Ma'am, okay. it, it was from uh, other mobile. Okay, Tipesh. Who is Tipesh Yadav? Ma'am, he's my brother. He's your brother. So you sent yes. email by his, uh, by using yes. his Okay, no problem. Yes, um, so, as you know, we are meeting for the very first time. So, would you mind introducing yourself first? Uh, okay, ma'am. My name is Anu. I, I just have given my 12th exam. I live in a village in Haryana. Wow. You are yes, from Haryana. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And uh, what are your hobbies? What do you do in your laser time? I do love watching uh, YouTube videos and English content. English content. Okay. Yes, Can you just briefly first explain about your uh, journey? Like when did you start and uh, what are the hurdles you faced first? Ma'am, I started uh, in June. In, in June uh, next year. In previous year. And I started learning from YouTube only. I started learning from YouTube only and uh, I put more focus on listening uh, and I do listen a lot of content and I just try to uh, speak it again and again. That's how I learn. And I do face problem in my pronunciation and, and I don't get remember the word uh, more often. So okay. yeah, these are the problem I do face. You have issues with vocabulary majorly while speaking. You don't yes, get much at the right moment, yes, right? Okay. Yes, you said you speak again and again. So with whom do you speak again and again? Ma'am, I just speak with myself only. I don't have anybody to speak. Okay. So do you yes, use the uh, mirror technique? Yeah, ma'am. Sometimes. Sometimes, or is there any other secret too? Any other strategy too, which you can share with us? No, ma'am, there is no other strategy. Okay. I do watch some of the uh, dub series, English series, uh, which really help in knowing new vocabulary and hmm. it also helps in improving pronunciation. Yes, improving pronunciation, right. You can try shadowing too, which really helps a lot in improving your pronunciation basically. Uh, which helped me a lot personally uh, when you do shadowing, you know, listening to the natives and then you are speaking or copying, trying to imitate them, right? That will help you a lot. Yeah. Okay. Uh, apart from that, uh, yeah, as you mentioned, you are focusing on listening part majorly. Is there anything else yeah. that you do like reading or maybe, uh, yeah, you do the speaking practice too? What about reading practice? Ma'am, I don't read as much. Okay. I just listen and just try to speak. Hmm. Okay, got it. Yes. So, uh, as you mentioned that you have problem with vocabulary majorly. Okay. So, we will do a small activity based on vocabulary itself. I'll uh, speak okay. one word, a uh, very basic word, normal word. But you have to tell me the uh, synonym of the word. Or maybe okay. that could be a commonly used word or that could be a little advanced too. So, whatever the synonym comes to your mind, you have to tell me that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So the first word for you is hard. H A R D. Hard. It difficult. Hmm. Difficult is commonly used word. Any other synonym which you can mention? And. Uh, Mama, uh, now I don't have any other word. Okay. Other than difficult. This is the nice word. Now we are going to learn. Hard means rigorous. Something which is rigorous, hard, difficult, challenging is commonly used word again. And, and it is nice. Instead of saying difficult again and again, you can say challenging. Challenging and rigorous. Rigorous. And next you can say formidable. 
Formidable. Very nice word. Formidable. Formidable. Challenging. Formidable. Yes. Formidable. Rigorous. Okay. Challenging. Difficult. Hard. Tough. Okay. Yes. Next word you have to replace. Take care. Take care. Hmm. Ma'am, to keep an eye on something. Right. And there is a very beautiful phrasal verb which you can, which we can use. You must have heard in movies or series in English. Ma'am, I'm not getting that right now. No problem. I'm here to help you. That is look after. Look. Okay. Yes, ma'am. You must have yes, heard, right? Yeah. So yes, look after. I... So when you do this practice, you will be able to recall words. And that's why we are doing here. So do, don't worry at all. If you are not getting, I am here to help you. So, uh, look after, take care. Okay? Yeah. Very simple word, which is happy. Can you tell me the synonyms of happy? Hmm. Ma'am, it's elated. Elated. Elated or hmm. thrilled. Hmm. Thrilled. And that's it. Delighted. 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 Thrilled. Delighted. And uh, exhilarated, yeah, exhilarated, exhilarated. Have you heard this word before? No, ma'am, I haven't heard this yeah, word so this before. This is new one, exhilarated, delighted. You must have heard, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Delighted, elated, gra glad, thrilled, exhilarated, exhilarated. Okay. Next is important, which is again commonly used word. Important. Ma'am, it's significant. Significant, yes. Hmm. I don't have other word, ma'am. Okay. Oh, so yeah. what you can do is find first commonly used words like important, happy. They are commonly used words. So whenever you go to, whenever you start speaking on any topic, there must be something you are going to mention as an important thing. Okay. So replace mm -hmm. important word. Learn synonym of the word. So you can replace. Okay. Imperative is a very nice word here you can use. Imperative. Okay. Uh, drinking water is imperative in order to be hydrated throughout the day. Especially in summers. Like this you can mention. Imperative. Uh, significant. Crucial. Vital. Yes. You must have heard those words, right? Yes. yes. Can you replace but? But... Yes. Can you replace yes, but? Hmm. No, ma'am. I don't have anything in my mind. Yet. Okay. However, however, and okay. yet. You can use yet. Or besides, again, you can use somewhere. Besides, yet, however. Instead of using but again and again, in order to enhance a bit your communication skills or English, you can use however, yet. Okay. Yes. Okay. Can you replace and? and? Without and, we cannot speak on any topic, right? Yes, so, replace and. Any other? No, ma'am. No, in addition to. In addition to, you must have heard? Yes, ma'am. Moreover. Have you heard the moreover word? Moreover. Yes, ma'am. I have heard about this word. Yes. In addition to, moreover, additionally. Additionally. Okay. Yes. Can you replace word think? Can you tell me the synonyms of think? Um, no, I'm sorry. No, I don't know. You don't need to say sorry. We are here to learn. Ponder, contemplate. Think, ponder. I was pondering or I was contemplating. Right? Yeah, you might have okay. heard while listening too because as you mentioned, you are focusing on listening practice much more than mm -hmm. any other. So you might have heard I was pondering, I was contemplating, I was thinking. Right. Yes, so these are the commonly used words, but, and, think, important, difficult, challenging, commonly used words. So first we have to replace commonly used words. Then we will focus on the advanced words. 
okay if you are a beginner if you are just trying to become a little intermediate you can start with these kind of practice and i am telling it for everyone out there on youtube who is watching the video that if you are beginner if you are confused like how to learn advanced words first replace commonly used words okay like the the whatever words we have discussed are commonly used words okay ponder contemplate think yeah next you can replace beautiful beautiful uh hmm you must have heard some of the words related to beautiful charming charming hmm okay magnificent magnificent yes, no, magn gorgeous gorgeous yes, no, gorgeous hmm gorgeous magnificent splendid right yeah. these are the words you can use okay uh if i say oh wow it's great oh wow it's great in the, is there any other way to say the same thing oh wow it's great uh we can say it's amazing amazing yeah it's amazing it's incredible yes ma'am it's incredible it's incredible amazing remarkable outstanding right so like this yes, in chunks also you can learn so this is the whole chunk whole sentence a short sentence oh wow it's great so replace this oh wow it's remarkable outstanding right excellent yes. incredible you have done an incredible job there right like this you can yes. replace okay you can can you replace the word big b i g big um it's huge huge uh, hmm. enormous enormous uh, yes enormous hmm uh, it is a nice word I'm not uh I'm not sure about the spelling gigantic have you heard the word gigantic Let yes ma'am i have heard it yeah yes, so it is gigantic maybe the this the right one. gigantic gigantic it is enormous yes. gigantic you know when we learn new words and the pronunciation the sound of the word makes us to learn the word sometimes mm -hmm. i learn word because of its you know the sound the pronunciation of the word gigantic it is like wow gigantic and you speak this word it seems like you are speaking something you are talking about something really big something really great gigantic enormous great uh, big yes uh, next can you mention can you replace brave b r a v e brave uh it can be replaced with bold yes bold brave any other no ma'am courageous adventurous mm -hmm. adventurous courageous brave and bold you mentioned already okay uh synonyms of start start um begin ma'am i don't yes ma'am to begin something begin and inception inception is a very nice word again because of its pronunciation i have learned inception inception and there is a movie inception have you watched the movie inception no oh, ma'am i haven't you haven't so today it's sunday you can watch inception very nice one very again i can say a little complicated based on dreams based on subconscious so if you like watching movies in english or hollywood movies you will definitely enjoy that inception okay initiate okay and you initiate, initiate. something yeah initiate start something initiate start begin inception okay okay yeah so now tell me is there any habit that you want you to incorporate in yourself in 2024 but you were unable to ma'am i want i want to be punctual in okay. 2024 but hmm. nowadays i am not not much punctual so i okay. wanted to focus on this habit only so first you mentioned that you wanted to be punctual but 
you are not. It means you are unable yes. to be punctual. Now yes. let's talk yes. about the reasons behind it. Because whatever we do, whatever we are struggling with, we have to, you know, examine it properly, scrutinize it properly. So break it down. So first you find what you want to be good at. Second, if you are able or not. So you mentioned you are not able to be punctual. Let's talk about the others, the reasons behind it. So are you aware of the reasons behind uh, you are not able to uh, be punctual or things uh, do things on time? Yes, ma'am. It's just because of myself only. I uh, Sometimes I don't feel like doing things. I don't know why. Okay. It means you are not fully aware about the things and thoughts. Yes, and you are just giving mixed answers. I don't know. I don't feel. Do you know, do you yes, have a strong why, strong reason behind being punctual? Why do you want to be punctual? Ma'am, because if we are punctual, then we can do our uh, time proper. I uh, work at uh, proper time and uh, we don't need to take care much. If we are punctual, we will learn things automatically at time. Hmm. Hmm. So you know that, right? But is yes, there any particular reason that you want to achieve in this, like in, in, one, in one week, in one month, in, one, in this six months? Do you have a strong why behind it? Uh, Ma'am, I want to improve my English as much as I can in these six months. Hmm. So that's why I want to be punctual. Okay. But for that, I guess you are already doing the listening practice. So where are you lacking? Like, uh, what are the things that you are not able to Ma do? Ma'am, hmm. Ma there is no consistency. One day I do, then, uh, then after four or five days I don't do. So this is Okay, so that comes in, that comes in consistency not in punctuality 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 means you are doing something on time like as if you have uh, mentioned or uh, decided to wake up early at 5 p mm. 5 a.m sorry 5 a.m right and you are not able to wake up at 5 a.m this means you are not punctual or maybe you have given time to somebody i will call you at this time and i will reach uh, at four, at three, and you are not able to reach there or talk to them at that time. As we decided to have the conversation at 11 a.m. And if you are not here, if you don't show up there, then you are not punctual. So maybe you are already punctual because you are here in front of me, but you are not consistent, yes. right? Ma'am, I am not much punctual because I uh, sleep, uh, I, whenever I sleep, I alarm my clock, but in morning I don't wake up. So you put an I'm alarm, but you much. cannot wake up. Mm. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so waking up early is, I, I will say, it is kind of a habit. We cannot totally uh, say that I'm not punctual, but I don't have the habit. So this is again comes under building a new habit or incorporating a new habit in yourself. So uh, these days, at what time you wake up in the morning? Ma'am, I wake up at 6 o'clock something. 6 o'clock. And at what time you want to wake up? Ma'am, I want to wake up at 4 o'clock. At 4 o'clock. So, yes, can you mention at what time you put your uh, alarm on? Like, uh, what time you mention in your alarm? 4? Yes, ma'am. 4. Why? Do you think that ma because 6 to just you are able to shift to 4? Yes, ma'am. Don't you think that you are giving a gigantic task to your mind? And, and you know, big task to your mind, right? To wake up at four. Right now you are waking up at six and it waking up four like two hours earlier than usual. So it is a gigantic task for your mind. And then our mind starts making, you know, excuses. No, I cannot wake up two hours earlier, right? So take small steps, baby steps. You can wake up at 5.45, like 15 minutes prior to your daily routine, daily, uh, you know, normally when you wake up at 6. So you can start waking up at 5.45 and follow it for one week. Next week, you can just start waking up at 5.30, then follow it for one week. So break it down, take baby steps in everything, whether it is learning a language whether is it is incorporating or cultivating a new habit in yourself, whether it is like doing yoga, exercise, meditation, you know, people have a 
have a desire to do meditation for one hour, right? But it is not possible to sit one hour, like silently closing our eyes. No, it is again a gigantic, numer like big, great uh, task for our mind. And complicate, mm -hmm. not complicated, but challenging task and uh, for our mind. So we can break, so like start sitting with ourselves. We should start sitting with ourselves for one minute. For well, one minute for one week. Mm -hmm. It is very easy. It seems easy to our mind actually. And we have to fool this first. Okay, so mm -hmm. it, for one, mm -hmm. one minute for this mind, it seems really easy task like cakewalk. So easy, we can replace with cakewalk and bed of roses, right? Yeah. So we have to fool this, start with one minute, then we can uh, in the next week, two minutes, three minutes. So that makes us consistent too. I think I'm speaking too much in the session. Okay. Uh, any other habit that you want to incorporate in yourself? That is one you are not able to. Any other which you are able and which you already have incorporated in yourself? Ma'am, I want to do exercise daily. I do exercise, but uh, again, I'm not consistent. So hmm. I want to do it on a regular basis. Okay. So again, you need to just break down again. If you are not like anything which you are not able to follow consistently, maybe that is a formidable challenge or that is a gigantic or numerous thing for your mind or for your body to accept it. So break it down. Uh, and start small, take baby steps. I, uh, you know, share this for people who want to incorporate, incorporate a habit of reading. For reading, again, they are baby in reading because if they haven't read ever in their life earlier, so it means you are a baby in reading field. Okay, I was also a baby when I started like in reading in 2022 itself, when I started my speaking journey, at the same time, I started my reading. But at that time, I was not able to read much. So I used to read only two pages, three pages. But then I forced myself after some time. So initially, you can start, you should start small. Not you can, you should even, I, I must say, you should start small. Then you will be able to. And once you see results, then you are able to be consistent. Okay. Yes. And actually, what I used to do, I used to decide a lot of things, and uh, but I can't do this. So actually, I today I got what we have to do. We should start from small. Small, yes. This is, uh, you know, actually we have a bad habit of assigning a lot of tasks to our mind when we get, you know, instant motivation from outside. Yes. Like when we watch some videos and we see, oh my God, she is just like me and maybe the similar age. She is doing this much. Let me do. And we start assigning a lot of tasks to ourselves. From today onwards, from tomorrow onwards, I'll do exercise. I'll wake up early in the morning. I'll read a page. I'll read a book. I'll drink a lot of water. I'll go for a walk in the evening. I'll do this. I'll do this. I'll do the listening mm -hmm. practice. I'll do the speaking practice. Then we end up doing nothing. Because our mind yes, again got the idea that, oh, oh my God, I'm going to do a lot of things. And there are a lot of things that I have to complete in just one day. So it is, again, very formidable task for our mind to do all the things in a day, right? Uh, as a, There are a lot of things I still want to work upon, but I haven't started yet. Because first, the things I have already started, I want to be fully consistent in that. I am, like, I am mostly consistent with the things which I have started. But there are, again, still, uh, there are uh, things in my bucket list which I want to improve and work upon. But I haven't touched yet. And I'm clear from here that I don't want to touch uh, for uh, next three to four uh, months. Still, uh, first become good at these, whatever I have started, then I'll focus on those things. So, but there are a lot of things. It, it doesn't mean that I am just working on one thing. There are like five to six things I'm still working upon. And five to six things I would work later so just you know align your you yourself to your mind first with your mind first like how your mind works uh what kind of mindset you have how your mind perceive actually you like whatever the uh, you know tasks you are assigning to yourself how your mind perceive first 
that makes you consistent or maybe inconsistent because my mind helps a lot right yes hmm okay okay so now we can wind the session up right here if you don't have any question do you have okay no ma'am i don't have any you didn't speak much or maybe i didn't give you any much chance to speak no ma'am uh, it's my first conversation so i'm bit hesitating okay uh, so, so would you like to have another session in future yes ma'am i would like to have okay so you can send me the reminder email again whenever you are free i'll book another okay. session so in which you can or maybe you can send me the mail in which uh, you can remind me to send some topics i'll send you some topics on which you can prepare okay. so it would be great for you to practice in front of me and there i'll add some new words so you will be able to incorporate those words in your okay okay yeah yeah thank you so much for connecting to me it was lovely talking to you and do not worry do not be negative you will be uh, you will be able to follow your maybe habits you will be able to follow your dreams achieve dreams and just start small okay do not okay. pressure yeah yeah you're welcome bye bye have a great day